like everybody else in Europe, you have to start selling electric cars. And uh, they have promised that by 2030, all their cars will be electric. So and, uh, this is part of the process. That's Nick Gibbs, our Automotive News Europe reporter, talking about Bentley's electrification shift. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Laura Harris. Bentley will drop its W12 engine as part of the brand shift to go electric. The W12 has powered Bentley cars since the ultra-luxury brand's reinvention by owners Volkswagen Group in 2003. But now... They're waving goodbye to this this uh, this this engine, this, you know, uh, big lump. And, uh, a, and now they've got to uh, get hold of a dry, electric drivetrain that uh, does a similar sort of job. Bentley CEO Adrian Hallmark says the brand is looking for the W12 of batteries as it develops a model that will be a flagship for the brand and kick off Bentley's EV launch cycle. And Gibbs says they'll have no problem replacing it. It's just, you, you know, the sort of feeling, the sound, the, um, you know, that sort of ineffable um, magic that happens with uh, multi-cylinder engines in big luxury brands, you know. I'm sure they'll find a way around it. The final version of the engine will be the most powerful at 739 horsepower. It's a bit of a famous engine within the whole VW group. I mean, Bentley have kind of made it their own. Bentley initially employed 100 people in its crew plant to build the final engine. But that number has since shrunk to 30. All affected staff will be retrained to work elsewhere in the crew facility. The factory itself is, is, is expanding as they move to make electric cars. So, you know, there's plenty of use for them, um, just not making W12 engines. Gibbs says Bentley will stay competitive because they know their customers and they know what people like. Plus, an electric battery will not be as expensive as a W12. For the ultra rich, electric isn't really a problem. It doesn't, it doesn't inconvenience their lives that much. You can read Nick's story on autonews.com. That's all we have for today. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to follow us online at autonews.com for updates from our reporters all day, every day. I'm Laura Harris. Have a great night, and I'll see you all next time.